All right, let's go over this news. So this morning, we established we had a tradable gap in the market. The breakdown was 67 on H, uh, low value area over here in the roadmap, the market profile. The first target was 61 a quarter. We have a tradable gap down to 43 and a half that's working right now. So let's take a look. We'll do a real quick video on this on how after news you can look at some of these things. So when I was walking through this with you this morning as the news released, I said wait for the 20 to get trending hard. If you look at this level, you want to see a push with the 20. The 20 start pushing here really hard. All right, you got a real nice hard push to the 20. As we start pushing with the 20, I said watch the 110 for the first retracement. The first retracement, it started retracing over here on the 110. Then what I said to do, as this was trading live this morning, I said to watch for the zone break to form, which it did. I said now the edge has been set. So as soon as it started retracing here, I said the edge has been set on the microphone. The edge has been set. These dots start printing. Now what you have at this level, which is 8.30 and 42 seconds afterwards, this was news, but it's, it, it works during the day like this also, 8.30 and 42 seconds. So if I go back over to my 20, just showing you how this works with both with the news and during the day, you start a hard trending down, right? So you're hard trending down. So what you can do is you can look at the first yellow pull-in, which is a zone break. I said watch for the zone break into this tradable gap. And there we got it. 42 seconds after the news. The fill, 62 and a half plus or minus a few ticks, depending if you, where you filled at on chart trader, or if you use the automated software, the fill was 62 and a quarter on the automated software. The market started running. Then what it did, it started retracing again. Retracing again and formed this zone break, another zone break. So what you're going to wait for is the next zone break. Your zone break formed there at 40, 54 and 3 quarters. The automated software got filled at 54 and a quarter. Then the market just gets cranked again. So just in the first three minutes of news from 48 down from 62, so 14 S&P points based upon, I said, let the 120 push the market, look for the 110 entry, you get a small stop, 14 S&P point potential, just like that, into a tradable gap. And that's what we try to do. We try to look for tradable gaps into this news break. All right? So you get these gaps, like it hit yesterday, it hit our 85 target yesterday, when I was doing a video yesterday, it actually hit that. But that's how you match the 120 with the 110 entry. You don't really want to trade off this smaller Renko size unless your 120 is trending. And so that's what we need. We need this to start trending like it is now. We're back in a hard trend at 837.04. Right now it's out trending at 837.04. We got all the way down the tradable gap to 43 and three quarters still. 43 and three quarters. On a tradable gap window, this market should continue to roll down to this magnet of 43 and a half. And it's sitting at 49 right now. So we're at 49. We should roll down to this 43 and a half level is a magnet. So the market has a magnet that it wants to try to get to. But that's how we try to do these, these uh, setups. 